态。So this is just a comment, really, before we begin the day. No? Uh, one of the things that I observed on Friday, um, which in many ways is where I expect you to be, where you are in the training at the moment, is that very quickly, you know, especially when I said with Elizabeth and just go and do what you observed or what it was that you saw, that many of you, I felt, got the idea that I'd like to do something but I'm not sure what to do, <laughs> you know, within this context that, you know, there's something there. I know I'm after something, but I don't have a lot of options or ideas maybe about what I could do. And my biggest comment here is there is no way, in my opinion, by simply having what we're going to show you in the training that you're going to have enough ideas it's not going to happen no? by just relying on what we demonstrate to you in the training and i would really 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 encourage you to watch more fi you don't have to understand it you don't really have to know what's going on <laughs> But I would really encourage you to watch more FI because you'll just see the different holds that we do, the different things that we do. Um, and especially, you know, I've already been pushing Feldenkrais. Please watch as much of him as you can. Um, but I just want to, and I'm sure you don't have that expectation, but it's not going to happen by simply seeing the things that we give you to do, that you're going to get enough ideas about what you can do in different circumstances. Where do you get them from? Where are the other places you could get the ideas from? Watching if I is a big one. What's another one? Sorry? Practicing on people? Absolutely. Especially, um, I'd really encourage you when you're just not on your own, but you've got someone there that when you get stuck, you can sort of say, have you got any ideas? <laughs> Is incredibly valuable. What else? Your ATM experience. Yeah. Looking at the myriad ways through ATM that we look for connection. Yeah. What are the things? What are we after? What is it that... We're trying to give someone a sense of. No? Absolutely. When you're doing ATM, where would I put my hands? No? What would I do? And again, that's the other. So my ATM experience, but talking someone through an ATM and observing where could I put my hands? What could I do? that might help them yeah, might I, help them to find an easier way to do this. I think that's what um, I really appreciated from last week was <laughs> some of those things that you told us about, you know, how you're holding, um, you know, like the forearm or the, the leg here um, and, you know, you talked about it being a stick and, and those kind of ideas that can be translatable to different parts of the body mm. but, you know, something about where the line of motions going through the mm. body mm. um i think that's that's the stuff that i'm i'm finding really valuable um because then you can translate it from there you can start to then sort of notice what people are doing when you're watching absolutely or then yeah when you've got those basic principles mm. Mm. you know when you're really yeah. looking for oh how do they connect that to that yeah. what's still not in their image where is mm. it huh? yeah and so that you gradually class, get that you know, and this is where your self-use is important too, that, ah, it's not here where I mm. think the... Mm. <laughs> yeah, so that's good. But the thing is, it's where it's not getting through is down here. 
There's something there that's not involved. So I move on, just like in ATM, most of the time I'll go and clarify it somewhere else. How do I? So what are all those things that we do? Yeah, because they're the things that just watching an FI I would never have thought of. I would never have thought of thinking of, uh, uh, you know, the forearm or the leg or the direct, the, as a stick, you mm. know, and holding it in that way mm. and moving it as a, as a block like that. Mm. 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 Yeah. Okay, so that's my little comment at the beginning of the day. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start today, if I go back to here. You absolutely, what a great idea, Alice. And I should also introduce that Ruth's the, we've got Ruth here this okay. week, and of course Actually, Jen's here. They can introduce themselves, because I had to do that last time. <laughs> Shah. Hi, I'm Shah Henderson. Oh, okay. You just talk into the top of it, Sean. <laughs> to the top? Yeah, a bit closer. Hi. <laughs> um, good morning. I'm Shah Henderson from New Zealand, NZ5. Is that right? Yeah. And I'm um, sorry, I really appreciate being here to catch up on some uh, classes I've missed in New Zealand. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Diana, who uh, thought she hello. was Libby. Um, I'm the Colombian New Zealander. Uh, I'm also going to be here for a week and thank you very much for allowing me to be here and sharing the time. So, very excited to be here. And who else? Karen's here? Karen's back? Hello, everybody knows me anyway. <laughs> Anybody else? And Nancy's here again this week. And Ryan's back. Yeah. Yeah. And Ryan's back. Anyone else? No, I think we've covered everyone. Okay, so now I can go back to, thank you, Alistair. So again, lots of things we can look at on this diagram. The one that I want you to just reflect on at the beginning, um, is what, not is, but what was it powerful for you to learn from the ATMs last week? Hmm? So from all of those ATMs last week that we did, what was it powerful for you to learn? No, you're just going to... Huh? Because then you can notice also, how do I recall? Is it, do I recall the movements that we did? Do I recall a sensation? Do I recall a, a concept? What is it? So just take a few minutes and feel free to do it in movement. I'm sure you've done that with Zoran. What's the difference between if I'm moving when I'm remembering or if I'm <laughs> staying still when I'm remembering? So take a few minutes. What was it powerful to learn from, for you, from the ATMs we did last week? Mm. Powerful to learn in terms of your movements or your organisation. Do you consider one of those more than the other? How, the learning to learn. So what did you learn about that or your ability to learn? Yeah. The other was what did you learn about your movement or your organisation would be a word that. Well, in terms of your reflection, so one of the really powerful things about being able to put into words what we're reflecting on is that we use words to communicate with people. So that ability to take all of these questions and ideas I've got and put them into words but as Feldenkrais would always say, thinking is not speaking. 
Thinking is not speaking. So words we use to communicate with other people. But how do we find this rich sensory motor world that we're really looking for as well? So that whatever I write down, you know, if you love to write down in your reflections, could you give yourself an experience of that? You know how to explore whatever you've written down to demonstrate it in your sensory motor experience. And if you stay in your sensory motor experience, could you also have the ability to maybe put that into words? <sighs> okay, so when you're ready, just get into groups of three and just share a little bit what you came up with. What's your strong point? the words, the sensation, and how do we get more of each? Mm.